checking the stats every minute this week. I'm doing my part, I'm paying attention, and I play my position. With Crypto Lights, we're back with another video and i wanted to touch on refund because refund coin is dipping and um you know some people would be you know pulling their hair out at this stage because the price is dipping so much but a lot of times when people think that a project is dead right it can just come back to life um you know without notice right guys and with refund uh refund has a super thick liquidity okay 8.28 million in liquidity Find me another token or coin that has $8.2 million in liquidity sitting at only a 10, uh, sorry, a $20 million market cap. Yes, it has pulled back from the 100 million. Okay, guys. But me personally, I see this as a buying opportunity. This has actually come down or slightly, it's around my actual um, buying price, which I first found it. And if it goes lower, I'm going to pick up some more of this token because I still strongly believe in the fundamentals of this token the story the community okay guys if we look at the chart right you'll probably see a lot if you, you can go look in, at charts okay things like pepe uh, hex um, coins that went a thousand x ten thousand x all those sorts of crazy numbers okay they didn't go there in a straight line okay now refund is only not even two weeks old it launched on the 19th of may um what is that 29 so it's not even two weeks old yet it's not even 14 days old yet which is why i believe that this has huge potential if you're a whale okay and you want to be able to get in and out of a token with very low slippage with large amounts of money 8.2 million in liquidity almost 8.3 million this to me is still super bullish so i'm not worried about the price yes i would prefer that we held this level Okay, you've seen my previous videos on the project. I would very much prefer that we held this level and we ranged um, in this range here and then we broke out and went straight to the moon. But, um, you know, this just gives you a chance to cool off, gives other people a chance to get in, gives you a chance to DCA and get a better position for when the moon actually happens, the real moon. We're talking about the wave three, the real moon mission, Mars mission, right? It's still trending at hot number three at the moment. Okay, so still bullish. It's been trending more or less every day since this thing launched uh how long is it is it 12 days ago 11 days ago 12 days ago right so you know i mean i don't expect it to stop anytime soon and uh, the community is growing okay let's go over to the community Nine thousand two hundred and fourteen members 1500 online this is not bots okay guys this is not botted out this is a real community okay um, the chat seems to be muted at the moment. Maybe there's something going on. Uh, let's see. Uh, what is this? What's going on? Blur Eve wrote on Discord that Elon posted the same one week later. See comments on his tweet. Let's have a look at what's going on here. Uh, because this could be significant. I'm discovering this while we're on video. So let's see. Um, Blur that Eve shares a poem in Discord saying from Shakespearean, the, temp the Tempest, from a quote that also coined the term thin air from Shakespeare's The Tempest. I don't know what this stuff means. He keeps posting these cryptic messages. Okay, you can see that Elon Musk uh, from Shakespeare's The Tempest, but I much prefer it literally versus ironically. I'm not sure what the significance is um, in that, but um, it says not a coincidence. Okay. Um, I don't believe that Elon Musk is Blur Eve, if that's what people are insinuating. But, you know, that could be bullish, could be bullish. And the speculation is there. It's, it's all speculation at the end of today. You know, people um, are throwing large amounts of money. If people are going to ape uh, based on that, then I'll take it. I'll take it because we need a reversal. That will be very lovely. I want to see it start to go sideways, okay? If it starts going sideways, that is when I'd say it's super bullish accumulation zone. Right now, trying to buy by these levels that's like trying to catch a falling knife so we want to see it cool off and start going sideways but the long-term potential for this project is astronomical there's potential gains for this can go through the roof okay guys and this level is a perfect buying opportunity in my opinion uh, but like i said i want to see it bounce i want to see it range okay i want to see this you know i mean the selling volume looks like it is slowing down it's slowing down and um people are, are accumulating this liquidity is being built from people buying and selling Okay, so, you know, uh, for me, this could create a very strong floor. Once it does, uh, we go to the moon, in my opinion. And I'm not saying we go to the moon instantly, but I'm saying, but what I am saying is, is that, um, you know, 
I think it's inevitable. It's just my opinion. It's not financial advice. So do your own research. Don't waste more than what you can afford to lose. Okay, guys. This is a meme coin. Okay, cryptocurrency is very risky. So um, risk capital only. I know it's easier said than done because we get FOMO. But um, yeah, I really believe uh, in this token for the long term. Uh, even in the short term, I think we're going to get a bounce. Okay, anyone getting it here, you know, you could have been buying it over here. Okay, people thought they missed it when it was all the way up over here. You know, you're getting much better prices on refund right now at the end of the day. And, um, you know, buy the fear. Okay, this looks like a scary dip. Okay, let's just go on a higher time frame. Okay, but buying, buy when people are fearful. Okay, uh, what is it? Be greedy when people are fearful. Be fearful when people are greedy. Okay, guys, um, you know, if this was just going to the moon and just going up and up and up, I won't be buying at all. I won't be buying. I'll just be waiting. Okay, waiting for this kind of dip. So this is a gift. Could be a gift. Okay, so uh, yeah, I'll leave it there. Let me know what you think in the comments, guys. Um, all these cryptic messages and all that sort of stuff. I don't buy into them at the end of the day. I don't I don't I don't pay much attention to them. I see people speculating about them and things like that. But you know, it keeps the people entertained, it keeps people, you know, interested at the end of the day. So I take it, I, I like it, let it happen, let it continue. Okay, guys. Um, yeah, so refund. Whew, the pain.